Building bridges at night is challenging and risky, but doing it under combat conditions is a hazardous task, requiring the support of 700 British and Afghan soldiers. Ready? As dusk approached, over 200 soldiers from the Worcestershire and Sherwood Foresters and the Grenadier Guards prepared to leave their base in support of Operation Bataka. Garmseer in Helmand Province is the front line between British forces and the Taliban. British and Afghan government forces have been attacked here over 100 times in the past month. I'm convinced that Operation Bataka will achieve uh, that pushing back of the enemy from these locations close to where my troops uh, have been attacked from uh, over the last couple of months and in so doing uh, defeat the enemy in those locations. A two rounds, a fire for effect, a followed by a four rounds... The operation began with a concentrated artillery barrage targeting known enemy positions. This shelling stopped the enemy from attacking Royal Engineers building the bridge. For the first time since Malaya, the Royal Engineers were constructing a bridge under combat conditions. The bridge had to be built quickly to take advantage of the night. With daylight fast approaching, the pressure was on. As the bridge opened, the British infantry immediately pushed forward attacking into an area previously held by the Taliban. The Taliban is known to booby trap doors and windows. Explosives are used to blow holes in the walls to gain entry to the compound. Once into the compound, it must be quickly checked and cleared of the Taliban. First part is now clear and further platoons are moving through into depth. On this operation, a bunker is found containing weapons. These are destroyed by the Royal Engineers. Building the bridge has allowed coalition forces to push the Taliban back, allowing the Afghan government to increase its influence and control here in Garmsir.